Here is one way that I found to create a halftone effect using Kaden Live. We won't be using any external resources, but for more rounded dots, you might want to use a PNG of sort, since I was unable to find a way to create the dotted effect directly inside of Kaden Live. So over here, I have three examples. So I took three different shots and I applied the halftone effect to them so you could see variations in the results. Now, I do find this to be slightly heavy, although the clips I'm working with are around 4K, so this might also be affecting the playback for me on my side. The effects are basically the same, but you can tweak some of the values depending on your scene and the result that you want. For example, on this first shot over here, if I were to turn on the levels, instead of having a color in the shadows, we would get pure black shadows. You can adjust how it looks by modifying the pre-threshold luma level in the luma. And so far at the bottom here, so on the top clip is where I have the half tone effect being applied. And at the bottom here is where I have the original clips with no effects applied to them. Now this is one approach that you could take, which is to stack up your clip one on top of the other. Alternatively, you could use the secondary color correction area selection mask and set it to add at the top of your effect stack and add a mask apply at the bottom of the effect stack. And this will become a standalone effect, which would mean that you wouldn't need the clip at the bottom here. All right, so let's break it down. To create this effect, we could start from scratch here. So I'll go ahead and delete everything. So remove all effects. And because I want this to be a standalone, I'm going to add the secondary color correction, set it to add, collapse, and the mask apply at the bottom here. Okay, so the first effect that I used was a posturize ELBG, and I set the code book to two, the steps to one. And for this particular clip, this is the result that we're left with. So I'll collapse the posturize. The next thing I added was levels above the mask apply and the levels is simply to crush the blacks and maybe even brighten the white areas again all depending on the result that you want after the levels i applied a grid so a draw grid so after levels for these values the color i changed to if we go inside of colors black left click and hold down so you get the values here and I simply set this to 90%. And for the width and height, I'll set these to 10. This might vary depending on the resolution of your project or the dimensions. And for the thickness, I set it to three. Next, I used a Luma key. Now, of course, you could stop there if this look works for you, if you just want to have these two tones. But in my case, I use the Luma key so I could mask out the dark areas. And lastly, I used an alpha operations under the Luma key and checked on invert. There we go. And now with the Luma key, you can adjust the threshold in the pre-threshold Luma as well as the slope over here. So I set the slope to eight. And now by adjusting these values, you can adjust the visibility of the dark areas in what is getting masked out. You can use the pre-threshold Luma to affect the dark areas now, now that we have the alpha operation, and decide on the look that you want. Now, as you can see here, there is a bit of a tone in here. If you want it to be just black and white, you can use the levels here to simply crush the colors, and there you have it. So it's basically the same thing applied to the other clips. For this one, I disabled the posturize, because it's already dark and by disabling the posturize and adjusting the luma key values as well as the levels here this is how i'm able to get this result if i zoom in here for you let's see our half tone effect is a bit more subtle let's reset okay if i were to turn on the posturize then it varies the result ever so slightly it's not groundbreaking but it does vary the result a bit and finally i can turn on the secondary color correction area selection mask and the mask apply which allows me to simply delete the clip underneath 
And lastly, I did the same thing with this final clip over here. So I'll turn on the secondary color, the mask apply, delete the clip underneath. And as you can see, it is a standalone. The values for this one were also adjusted. So for the levels, crush the blacks a bit more. The posturize is still set to two on colors. For the luma key, I increased the pre-threshold luma levels. If I were to decrease them, it becomes very dark all around. So I increase them a bit so that we still have some visibility for the surrounding areas. And that's pretty much it for how you can create the halftone effect using Kaden Live, at least one version of the halftone effect. I have a Kofi link down in the description for those of you who like to support the channel. You can click on this playlist here to learn more about Kaden Live. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.